Finding inverse for a rational function is always very tricky. So here we have an example and let's try to do it. Uh, my suggestion is that whenever you have a rational function or a function with the restriction, it's a good idea to write its domain and range, right? Now here you can see that the domain of the function is x belongs to real numbers but x cannot be minus 2. So x is not equal to minus 2. And about the range, range of this function is that y belongs to real numbers but y will not be equal to here the horizontal asymptote is at 1 y is not equal to 1. Now how to find this horizontal asymptote is, is itself a big thing. What you can assume is that if x is very large then these numbers are very small right and therefore horizontal asymptote basically is let's get into that horizontal asymptote is when x approaches plus infinity or x approaches minus infinity what do y approach that is what horizontal asymptote is now in this example if x is very large then it is like x over x right so x over x is 1 right so the both of them are approaching 1 and therefore horizontal asymptote is y not equal to 1 right they are approaching 1 they are not at 1 so this is kind of important information to start with and we are trying to find inverse of a function so in inverse these things will swap so what we are expecting for inverse is let me put it there on the side so we are right for inverse what do we expect so inverse of this function will have domain which is going to be this right that means x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 1 they will swap right and range will be that y belongs to real number but y is not going to be equals to minus 2 so this is the kind of domain and range that we are expecting for this particular question now let's try to solve this right so we have function f of x we can write this as y equals to x minus 1 over x plus 2 to find the inverse we will interchange x and y and so we write x equals to y minus 1 over y plus 2 now we need to isolate y from here that is a very tricky part now there are a couple of ways to do it if I do minus 1 both sides then also I can isolate y but I will adopt a general method here that is cross multiply so I'll cross multiply and say x times y plus 2 equals to y minus 1 and then we'll bring y's together. So we have xy plus 2x and we'll bring this y on this side which is minus y equals to minus 1. Now on this side we have xy minus y. So xy minus y we can take y common and uh, let me do this in two steps. We have xy minus y equals to, well, take this 2x on the right side. So we have minus 2x minus 1. Now here we can take y common. Once we take y common, we get x minus 1 equals to minus 2x minus 1. And now we can isolate y. And you can say y equals to minus 2x minus 1 over x minus 1. So that is the result which we get from here and therefore we can now write this as inverse function right this is f inverse of x is equals to minus 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 so that is the inverse of the given function as you can see here the restriction is that x is not equal to 1 in our domain, correct? And if x is very large number, then the function really approaches minus 2 because x is very large, correct? So that is also correct, that 
your range will approach minus 2 but will never be at minus 2 right so that is that confirms that the inverse function which we have got is perfectly right right so that is how you got to do inverse of a rational function critical step here is this cross multiply combining the terms so that you can isolate y so try to do few examples like this so get some practice since it is at times very difficult to solve this kind of a problem in the test. I hope this solution helps you. Thank you.